What's good, man? You already know what it is. If you don't post the video right now, it's Max Vibes. Mind to come to the video, smack that like button, man. Back with another video, man. Back with another boop, 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 banger, man. But this time, y'all, you know we've been covering this whole new fucking journey of life and hearing about more truth. And that's what we all always about. Number one thing on this channel is truth. So right now we about to get into Dylan Talks video, man. Make sure you guys go check him out, subscribe. Um, Cat Williams on Kevin Hart selling his soul to dress like a woman. The story behind their beef. Let's get it. But you do it for play play. If you do it for real, here it is, Kevin. I got a show at your hometown in Philly. Oh, yeah? I'm going to take my special there. Uh huh. On that stage, we can put whatever you want a full court basketball court, a boxing ring. Two microphones for a rap cipher. Okay. Or you can get your ass dusted in comedy. It's sound like he about to be on a triathlon show that he more talented than him in all types of ways. Be on that stage. But it's one million dollars up for each one. That's five million dollars, Mr. 28 million in Forbes. You should be able to do that. I'll be bringing mine in cash. This is the reckoning. 2024. All my life. All my life. Bro, I have not seen Cat Williams in a minute. I'm not gonna lie, but what he did on this interview was like the redemption arc for Cat Williams. Yep, putting yep, every was. single comedian on blast and exposing them in a way that nobody's ever gonna forget. Like Kevin Hart wearing a dress. Kevin told you he wouldn't go wear no dress until they offered him the dress, and then he put it on. And what did he say after he wore it? I made my own decision. That's the that's the that's what they always go with. They tell you, yeah, I make my own decisions, but then they lie. It'd be things like them telling you beforehand, like, yo, I don't wanna do this type of shit. If I had to do it, I wouldn't do it. But when the money is involved, you know, when you get in more materialistic things, you tend to sell your soul unconsciously, not even knowing. Duh. I was actually, I was actually one of those comedians that said, "No, I wouldn't wear a dress. There's no way." There we go. Then I just say and, that. And then, when proposed with the opportunity of what I felt was funny, I thought, "Oh, it's funny. I'm gonna do it." Oh, Kawanzane is, is relevant. Yeah, that's funny. She's small. I can do the whole thing. It'll be funny. Uh, I think now, knowing about the opportunities that that can be thrown at you, it's all about choice. You know, nobody makes See? you do anything. See? But you didn't make it before they brought it up, did you? <laughs> it's okay. All right. For a, a... I like how he did that. I like how you edited that video. I like how I you think now, right knowing about the opportunities that that can be thrown at you, it's all about choice. You know, nobody makes you do anything. But you didn't make it before they brought it up, did you? Mm. It's okay. It's all right. For a five-year period, every single movie that... that Kevin Hart did was a movie that had been on my desk that all I had said was just can we take some of this step and fetch this shit out and then I can do it like it don't need to be overtly homosexual because I'm not homosexual right? right it doesn't need that right to no. be funny right mm -hmm. and, and and me saying that and them going oh yeah no problem and then going to give it to this other guy and having him do it just like it was and acting like I'm a bad person but that's crazy to know that most of the movies Kevin Hart was in could have been played by Cat Williams and we would have had probably even way funnier time. Like with Kevin Hart, he's pretty funny, but it's more at least like short jokes. Cat Williams is just as short, but it would be more funnier than just a short joke. I don't know. Maybe it's just I keep standing on my standard, but um <laughs> yeah, it's uh yeah. it's interesting. And I mean, you can go all the way back a couple years ago when Cat Williams first addressed the dress scandal with Kevin Hart. Mm. Kevin doesn't have to worry about what people are going to say about him wearing a dress because of the long line of dress wearing people before him. Wow. So now, we had Big yep. Mama's house one, two, and three. Yeah. I've never seen Medea in a pantsuit. I think she wears dresses. <laughs> so you know I'm saying, why are we picking on poor little Kevin Hart? because it was his turn next. Yep. And then remember around when you're next up in line, even if it's in a uh, industry, like as a rapper, actor, any of these, this, had, this is your, this is next. 
once you do that, it's your confirmation that you're on the other side. You're on the other team. Now 2018. When you were it made Kevin respond calling Cat a drug addict. Mm -hmm. She ain't done a special. She has not proven the ability to tell jokes back to back for an hour to nobody. Mm. And they already ready to down Monique and up somebody mm. who has showed them yep. girls trip. Did you think she wrote Girls Trip Goofball? But the movie wow. Girl, the, the Girls Trip movie? Yes, ma'am. The one with that four, looked... with, with three of our greatest black actresses in it. You right, mean that one? Right, right. But oh. I'm just saying Tiffany Haddish. Ma'am, you could have Tiffany, had that role yeah. and everything that happened would have happened. But people so, like real. I'm, and that's why they that like what they, they like. They love oh, real because everybody's real. Wanda Slate. Then. So don't trip. Wanda no, Slate no, that belt. They like Wherever Tiffany you Haddish at under the sound of my voice, real. do you have a real coworker? <laughs> right. Do you have a ratchet friend? Do you have a sister? Do you have a cousin? Do you have a nephew? Do you have a niece? Is they so ghetto? When did that become marketable? Knock it off. They like her because she want to sleep with a white man. That's why the only thing she said was, I want to give it to Brad Pitt. Wow. And then Brad Pitt said it. And then Brad Pitt said it. Yep. <laughs> Which I thought was a joke. Okay, I took it as a joke. Wow. Right? But he said, well, well, if I'm single in a year and you're single in a year, maybe we can get together and see what happens. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> he fucked it up, Firebird. Wow. All that. I told you to do that. <laughs> And then I did some research. Yeah. And he got a gang of kids. I can't do it. <laughs> Frustration with Cat Williams comes from, you keep pointing at Hollywood. Hollywood this, the white man, this, this, and this. Uh -huh. When do you take responsibility for your actions? You became a risk to the studios, which is why the studios stopped with you. Why was he a risk? Damn. He chose drugs. Oh. And, and they'll just go out and they'll lie. The, the industry doesn't mess with Cat because he didn't show up for the studio. No studios have ever said that. Look at my IMDb. It okay, they out here lying. See, when people come out and tell the truth, people tend to start telling them, yo, you crazy. Yo, they're on drugs. You're this, you're that. You're jealous of people. But it's the honest truth. And it built up. It took over time. And he thought about it. He said, yo, I'm going to go into the New Year's with this to get off my chest. I'm not going to wait till the end of the year. I'm going to wait the New Year's. Okay. It will show you that no studio has ever lost money with me on the script. How? There was also a part in the interview that Kevin Hart had done back in 2018 where he had said that anybody that was below Cat Williams, he never helped them rise up. Cat mm. Williams, have you ever used your platform to fucking bring the people that were under you up? I'm pretty sure he has. When I do something good, mm -hmm. I'm really not doing it for the gram. It's not, it's not for... It's not for any of that. I'm just doing it because it's good to do. Like this dude, okay. not even a year ago, had paid like $75,000 to give somebody a Hollywood Walk of Fame star. Wow. We are here to honor the extraordinary life. The people just be talking. Of a true legend. And in these day and age, we call somebody a legend if they've been doing something for 20 30 years right but to be at the top of your craft in stage television music and film there really has never been anything like it i looked up who paved the way for melba moore who was the person that excelled in all of those things and i found out that that person did not exist Melba Moore is a one of one mm. in our industry, and okay. that's what we're celebrating. Uh, beyond the bright lights of Broadway and television, Melba Moore's recording career has spanned six decades. Let that sink in six decades. Wow. And solidified her as a musical icon to this very day. People are listening to club classics like You Stepped Into My Life and love's coming at you mm. because it never ages just okay. like melba moore <laughs> not just that you had a recent video from boozy badass who Live said when he was yeah. struggling cat williams gave him like fifteen thousand yep. dollars brought him to the show mm -hmm. and all fifteen thousand dollars he's also helped nick cannon when it comes to wild and out with his ratings giving other people who were on the show an opportunity to shine with him being on the show. Yeah. Um, what I did in Wild and Out was to be his protector and to be his voice 
um, with hip hop. So the whole thing was the thing that he was trying to do had never been done before. You can't bring six comics in and let six comics talk shit about six rappers because right. the six rappers will beat the six comics ass. Right. <laughs> you would have to have a comic that could actually stand in between and go, look, we comics, we gonna say what we gonna say, y'all gonna take it and understand it's a joke. Mm -hmm. If you wanna fight, we fight before the show. Right. So you can go out there with your black eye. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna do it comedically. Nope. This is what needed to take place right. in order to be for it to be successful. Now from 2018 to 2024, the beef has now been reignited. After calling Kevin Hart an industry plant and how he's had everything handed to him when yeah. it comes to Hollywood. 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold out Kevin Hart show. There being a line for him ever getting a standing ovation at any well, comedy club. He already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard of a comedian that came to LA and in his first year in LA, he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called Soul Plane that he was leading. <laughs> no, we've that. never heard of that before that person or since that person. Mm. What do you think a plant is maybe people don't understand the definitions of these words he just did his documentary with chris rock where he shows you that his whole upbringing in comedy was on the east coast yeah it was. so how yeah. simultaneously was he here in los angeles doing the same thing it did happen it did up, happen eh? and then my favorite part was when he said you know what a person's job is who sold their soul to act like I mean, they have never sold their soul like you, yeah. it's important in the checks and balances of the universe that liars not get to make complete narratives for themselves are you not afraid about being blackballed again these are some power people what do you mean look when you say stuff like that you're not afraid to be blackballed these some powerful people you know who he's speaking to shannon sharp don't want to lose his platform either then you know they looking at it like yo you don't want to be blackballed i know he just dropped another uh interview i gotta go check it out willie d or something like again, that again these people are not powerful satan can't create anything that includes blessings for his people that's why you know what the number one job of somebody that sold their soul in hollywood is what? is to act like it didn't happen damn they all do the same job why do you think Gary Owen can't cross over and he already white and been in comedy for 25 years? Wow. If what I say ain't the case. It's a cabal. It's a it's a consortium. Yep. They they rock Love with group. who they rock with and they don't with who they don't. But I'm not scared of being the competition any more than you were when you lined up uh, uh, across from a superior team. Yeah, on paper, they're a better team. Right. They have all the assets and resources that we don't. Line up. But let us get on the line, boy, oh, boy, boy. <laughs> and see if that factors in. I, I guarantee you it won't. Wow. Yes. Boy, you notice now one celebrity that has reacted to this Cat Williams situation, including Kevin Hart, you know has mad. said that he was a liar. Kevin Hart, in fact, on Twitter, promoted his movie instead of actually addressing hey, yep, what Cal Williams you know. had to say. That's how you know. And his entire Instagram and Twitter is just filled with Cat Williams comments. One fan had wrote, said he chose drugs, but you have the DUIs and car crashes. Something ain't right. And you a cheater. To then another person writing... Cat Williams put you in a blender. Mm. Do you not find it unusual that there's an entertainment industry fetish of forcing black men to wear dresses? Yeah. Who made you wear the dress? Ooh. Cat Williams is a billion times funnier, but white media tries to keep him out of the money yep. because he won't conform. Exactly. Cat is a real one. He didn't sell his soul. Woo. Now, as you can see, Cat Williams has taken over the internet. He has taken over Kevin Hart's audience. They are no longer wanting to uh, have anything to do with him at this very moment. Wow. You also have ESPN showing some clips of where Kevin Hart threw a little jab at Cat Williams. 
Let me see, bro. You oh, got no, it. I, I, oh, I, I yeah. You didn't that's say nothing to Cat game. Williams when he did the three-hour uh, interview talking slow yesterday. Oh, man. <laughs> you didn't put a it. shot clock on him. <laughs> well, do, you, do you entertain the circus or do you watch it, Perk? Which one do you do? <laughs> Say the insults. When you, when you hear you insult. Uh, here. When you hear you insult people, that's why he can't be like, oh, and to say that's not true, that this, this, that, and the third. No, the news flash, the name Big Perk was given to him from <laughs> Cat Williams. Don't do it. <laughs> Cat Williams uh, is rumored to have given Perk that nickname. Why did you do it? Perk? That one loss came from a team that Cat Williams coached. Oh, and that's something that, well, it's true. <laughs> it's it's true. Can we fact check it's this? True. Can we Kev, you got to get your gift back and uh i'm inviting you to come on point forward the podcast and get you get back from the the, the busy week you had you know, yeah, yeah good luck good luck getting me to talk about that horse <laughs> see bro when you act like that you know cat williams says some real shit bro dylan i'm happy you put this video together man make sure you guys are subscribed yeah. <laughs> liking up going down there i'm gonna put the original video below man <laughs> good, good luck okay <laughs> One thing that I'll say out of this entire situation is I got some videos it dropping is too. One on of the this. biggest moments of the year. And I think there's going to be a lot more that will come from this. Like yeah. Cat Williams is probably going to go on a lot of other bigger platforms in the future just because of how much of a success this interview was. This man went from 900,000 followers on Instagram to 1.1 million followers Damn. on Instagram. This By dude is bigger truth. than life right now. And you know what else? Truth. Like, Cat Williams just changed the way interviews will be done. You're going to see a lot of people in the future that will be interviewed trying to get a viral interview like Cat Williams, trying to say whatever they can about other people that's to not get even the clips. True. We even know what he's because that's true. what Cat Williams did. He called out the entire industry and name dropped and gave no fucks. <laughs> yeah, and got all. over 30 something million views. You don't think that there's a lot of people watching that right now? Like, oh, my God. All you have to do is just say what, you, what is on your mind and you'll get that many people to watch you. I'm about to do that next. Like, yes, he is going to change the way you see these political correct interviews. Like, they're not going to be popping no more. Damn. People are going to crave another Cat Williams interview because it's just so interesting. Wow. That was an interview you could watch all the way I through and it. not be bored. I watched it like three times already, and I'm about to make some videos on it. So y'all already know this shit ain't no joke. Bro, make sure you guys comment on a visual video, or man. Not be like, damn, he's a robot. He's an NPC. Like, Cat Williams was himself the entire time. Yep. Fire ass video. Make sure you guys go over there and follow up, man. Subscribe. You already know what it is, man. I got more videos on this topic. Um, the world is awakening. You open your eye, man. Don't longer be lost in the sauce. Understand that all of that shit is a stage, is a joke. All of it is pretend. None of it is real. They're trying to force us to follow them, and they don't give a fuck about nothing. All they want is the clicks, the likes. They don't want to speak the real truth. So now people are going to try to mimic off of what kept cat williams did and make it fabricated they're gonna try to wash it down and speak on goofy shit but listen i gotta go y'all appreciate it shout out to all y'all that could pull it up and watch this video man and i'm out peace